Good day, that one students. Welcome to our course, Purposive Communication or COM 111. Ano? So, I am Miss Marnath Almalubag and I will be your course teacher for this subject. Okay, so I have already handled the that one class, no? that, that one A class last time during their uh, Sinin ng Pagkipagtalastasan days in uh, your first batch of your taken subjects ngayong first sem ng academic year 2022 to 2023, right? So, nakilala ko na sila somehow at uh, I have able to know some of their backgrounds inf uh, background info, uh, abilities, and skills, and especially in terms of communication. Okay? But you, uh, ang that one B, uh, even though advisory class ko rin kayo, eh, ngayon ko pa lang talaga kayo or tayo magkakakilanlan na because uh, uh, because dito sa subject natin ano, right? So, I hope you will have a good time all throughout this semester ano? and I am e expecting everyone that one A uh, and that one B to participate ano, sa klase ko uh, communicate regularly sa akin and to comply with all the requirements ano, under this course, okay? So today I just provided you this and uh, my recorded lecture video kasi by now at this very moment I nasa field ako and uh, conducting interviews with the farmers. Yan medyo busy kaya uh, in order for us not to be late para at para hindi rin maipon ano yung inyong mga gawain for this subject. I I'm doing this ano I am recording lecture videos para mapanood niyo uh, during our scheduled class okay so ayun I have uploaded uh, on our Google Classroom yung ating OBE course syllabus for this subject no by that makikita niyo kung ano yung mga topics na itatakal natin uh, makikita niyo rin doon yung mga activities na gagawin niyo mula ngayong uh, una no ngayong unang week hanggang sa huli, ano, until December. Okay? But I also uploaded there yung ating, yung tinatawag ko, timetable, ano, kung saan, yun, yun, yun yung mas, uh, mas magiging guide natin para sa subject na to. So, yung timetable na yun is mas detailed and uh, comprehensive or mas magiging siya maintindihan kaysa sa OBE or syllabus kasi yun ay may uh, may specific schedule na rin for a specific topic and may corresponding specific activity na rin ano, per se, every uh, class schedule natin. So, ginawa ko yun para hindi tayo mahuli ano, and para well-organized din yung ating classes. Okay? Ayun, so, enough with the introductory part. Uh, I-visit nyo na lang ano, at i-download i-download nyo na lang yung ating uh, timetable para ma, uh, maka-follow kayo uh, sa ating mga klase. Okay? So, I hope you understand all of that. Alright? So, without further ado, uh, let's start na uh, immediately with the first topic we have here in Purposive Communication. Okay? So, it is entitled Definition, Processes, Principles, and Ethical Considerations of communication. Yeah, so this may uh, only serve as a review for you, no? Kasi as far as I'm, I'm aware, ay natatakal na rin ninyo ito during your senior high school days, no? Pero sa mga hindi nakinig noon sa teacher nila during those times, ay may, maybe ito pa lang yung unang time na you'll encounter this topic. So, ayun, you better listen and Study this lesson carefully. Yan, para sa inyong lahat. And so, under this topic, we have two lessons. Uh, first, we have the elements of the communication. And the second one is the principles and uh, ethical considerations in communication. Okay? And afterwards, as soon as we finish... Uh, this uh, first topics of ours, I am expecting you guys that you already have examined and uh, the definition 
the elements, the functions, and ethical considerations of verbal and nonverbal communication ano, in various and multicultural contexts. And you have appreciated and saw the importance of communication. Okay, so ayun, in, order, in order for you to attain these two objectives, uh, let's, let us now start ano, with our lesson. Okay. All right. So first and foremost, why do we have to study communication? Eh, we're in fact alam na natin yan, no? Because we do that every day. We communicate every day, almost every second of our day, de ba? Like we com we we communicate with our family, with our friends, peers, classmates, and such. You know, and kung wala mang kausap, if there's uh no one na nakakausap natin na present palagi sa tabi natin eh, we, st we still communicate even within ourselves de ba so ayun why purposive communication is included in your curriculum ano ba yung use ng communication sa field ng agriculture okay so maybe yun yung uh, naglalaro sa isipan niyo ngayon ano so bakit kailangan pa nating um pag-aralin ang purposive communication well, guys, let me share this to you. Now, based on a survey conducted by the uh, Katz Business School, so it's a strong business school sa University of Pittsburgh, and now, so uh, organizations rated communication skills as the most important factor ano, na ginagamit in selecting their uh, management staff. Ano. So, uh, that study revealed that um, oral and written communication skills were important in predicting job success. No, and they also found that the most important factor in uh, selecting managers is uh, communication skills. Also, which is it is actually true and uh, and uh, prevalent, especially sa panahon natin ngayon. No, in fact, I've uh, experienced that. No. So, sa una kong in-apply na trabaho, uh, nag-ask uh, nag lang ako about the job noon, pero the supervisor na napagtanungan ko, ay, uh, she asked me to write an application letter for just uh, within 3 minutes, ano? so handwritten yun. So, the reason for that daw is to uh, see and test kung Mabilis daw ba ako mag, mag, makapagbuo ng ideas? Ano? Kung, orga, kung organize daw ba yung uh, sentence construction ko? Kung marunong daw ba ako sa communication in a workplace? Ano? Then, uh, right after uh, writing my um, application letter, in-interview din agad ako ng supervisor doon sa... Uh, base agency to test my speaking skills naman. No? So, take note ha, hindi pa yun yung mismong application ko. Kasi sa regional office pa, yung mismo application ko noon dapat. So, with the regional director ng DOS. <laughs> no? So, that's it. Uh, so, doon pa lang, sa, uh, sa isang instance na yun, communication skills are really important talaga. Ano, in predicting your success sa magiging job mo. Kaya kung, uh, siguro kung humarap ako noon ng walang ka-skill skill ano, in uh, communication, maparitan and speaking skills man yan, ay, uh, I guess, hindi ko nakuha yung job na yun. Pero, uh, thankfully, na natrain naman ako during my undergrad, kaya, uh, naging successful naman yung pagkuha ko doon sa job na yun. Okay? So, ayun, that's um, how important communication is. Kaya kailangan uh, you guys, even you are agriculture major, kailangan pa rin na pag-aralan ang communication. So, hindi natin dapat uh, i-question na bakit kailangan pa pag-aralan ang communication. Okay? So, ayun, because just so you know, guys, and uh, having the ability to communicate well with, uh, with others in the workplace is the, uh, yun yung real work of leadership, okay? 
So uh, that makes sense when you think about uh, this. Because if you can communicate well, you will be able to deliver your message across to um, others in an effective way. And uh, therefore, they could uh, possibly receive the accurate uh, instructions to complete their uh, assigned tasks. And as you see, however, if you cannot communicate well naman, so, uh, the messages you tend to send might uh, get lost ano, in translation na maaari mag-end up siya in miscommunication, which is yun yung pin pinakang uh, iniiwasan sa isang workplace. Ano? And even kahit hindi sa workplace, kahit saan ano, nausapin. Okay? And what else? But I know guys na you will uh, all agree with this naman no? So even though communication skills are so important to success in the uh, workplace, uh, there are many individuals who find this skill so to to be uh, a stumbling stumbling uh, block in tawagin ano? Sa madaling sabi ay isa, isang obstacle daw ang uh, communication skills ano? sa progress ng isang tao. Ayan. Yearly, I, uh, I conduct a uh, one-on-one -on -one interview with agriculture students ano, under the purpose of communication or sining ng pakikipagtalastasan man yan. No? And what they uh, want to... And kapag ini-interview ko yung uh, mga students na yun, uh, madalas kong napapakinggan, ano... Uh, na what they want to improve within themselves pa is yung kanilang communication skills. No? Kasi sila daw ay ayun, nare-receive kong uh, sagot sa mga sa mga tanong ko sa kanila is sila daw kasi ay mahiyain, takot magsalita kasi baka uh, magkamali at baka pagtawanan. Ano? So just like you guys, some of you have uh, opened up na sa akin na hindi kayo ganun ka-vocal at hindi kayo ganun nag excel ang inyong communication skills, ano? Like, you struggle to convey your thoughts and ideas in an accurate manner, ano? Make it difficult to uh, progress in clearly and uh, clearly impossible to lead well. But, uh, you know, whatever, what, whatever struggle it is, there is always hope for those who find communicating to be difficult. Kasi, uh, good communicators aren't born. Ano, hindi pinanganak ang mga magagaling uh, magsalita. Ano, but they are grown. Okay? So, yung mga napapanood ninyong speakers na napakagagaling magsalita ano, in front of many people, in front of a large audience, ano, magulat na lang kayo na sila pala dati ay mga mahihayaing tao na takot humarap at makipag-usap sa tao. Ano, kasi nga, uh, napapag-aralan yun. Napapag-aralan ang communication skills, napapag-aralan ang speaking skills. Okay? Napapractice ang communication skills, guys. Ano, and these skills can be actually practiced and learned. Ano, yun ang atandaan ninyo. Kaya, uh, wag sana kayo matakot. Ano, all you have to add up is your uh, courage, ano, your diligence, your confidence, of course, and of course, your self-trust. Ano, kailangan mo muna pagkatiwalaan nga yung sarili mo bago ka pagkatiwalaan ng mga tao, bago maniwala ang mga tao sa sasabihin mo. Okay? So, when you look around and hear others, other people speaking clearly with authority, clarity, and uh, confidence, it's not because they are just naturally good at it. Ano? It is because they have developed those skills. Ano? They uh, watched effective speakers, learned from them, uh, adapted the same skills, you know, and learn from their own uh, mistakes as they practice. Okay, kaya, yan lang, practice and practice lang, ano, pag-aralan, uh, i-practice, at matuto doon sa mga pagkakamali while you are practicing, ano, para ma-improve mo yung iyong skills dito sa communication. Okay, that is why I require you guys, ano, to try learning and practicing uh, speaking, okay? Not just speaking ng kung ano-ano, ano, 
but speaking to groups as individuals ano if you will be given a chance to speak in front of people whether um in front of your friends even your classmates ano your siblings your whole family a grab it okay from that you will learn how communication works and how to communicate it uh, exactly uh, what it is you want to say what mode of communication is best to use and uh, what factors are influencing the ability for you to effectively send and receive messages with uh, depth or malalim na perception okay kaya my goal is that uh, you uh, my students here in purposive communication would develop your communication skills all throughout this subject now and i want to hear each of your voices uh, along our future classes even though uh, chances won't be given to us and not to meet personally and physically para makapagkandak ng classes kasi uh, ang GE classes or yung minor classes ninyo kasi is uh, conducted online pa rin. No? Kaya during uh, this time na virtual lang yung ating mga klase where almost all things have limitations no one could help you uh, learn and grow but but uh, yourselves, ano, sarili nyo lang. Kaya you have ample opportunity to improve your abilities in uh, this critical skill, okay? Ayun, so try hard guys, okay? Uh, kailangan yung tulu tulungan yung sarili nyo para mag-improve kayo um, in your communication skills, okay? So I hope all of those are clear on your end, guys, na? Okay? Ayan, sige, ang haba pala nung aking introductory part. <laughs> okay, so, here in this slide, guys, when uh, you are asked to define, commu uh, define communication, ano kaya yung sasabihin mo? How would you respond? Do you even have an, uh, an idea or do you have in mind what actually communication is? Ayan, well, um, most people might relate to the uh, forms of communication na yung talking or listening daw, ano? But communication goes beyond that. Hindi lang siya basta-basta talking, hindi lang siya basta listening. Now, it has to be emphasized that the meaning of communication is not just confined with uh, within uh, models and cycles. No, it should be defined from a, a purposive and experiential uh, perspective to para uh, uh, to further understand its meaning and uh, and not limit it to uh, encoding and decoding process. Now, so, ayun, yes, communication uh, involves getting information from one person to to the other person. Yet, uh, even this uh, is not a complete definition. You know, because communicating effectively involves having that uh, information relayed while retaining the same uh, in content and context. And so what is communication? Alright, so first from an etymological perspective, yeah, so pag sinabi natin etymological, uh, it refers to on sa, sa origin ano, or dun sa historical development ng uh, word ano, and their meanings. Okay, so, sa etymological perspective, if uh, dun tayo titingin, ang, ang, the word communication is derived from the Latin word communis, ano, which means common. Okay, so this definition uh, underscores the fact that uh, unless a common understanding results from the exchange of information, there is no communication. Okay, so in other words, kung walang, pagkakauna, walang pagkakaunawaan na nangyayari between the sender and the receiver, then, uh, masasabi natin na there is no communication happening. Okay? There must be an understanding na nagaganap basa sa uh, etymological perspective ng communication. Okay? So, that's the first 
uh, definition ng communication. And then, from a linear perspective naman, yan, so sabi dito, communication is the process or act of transmitting a message from a sender to receiver through a channel and with the interference of noise. Yan. So, mamaya ay matatakal natin ano kung ano itong channel na binabanggit dito and itong noise. Ano na sinasabi dito. Okay? So, then, from an interactive perspective naman ng communication, ayan, communication daw is the activity of conveying information through the exchange of thoughts, messages, or information as by speech, visual, signals, writing, or behavior. Ayan. So, kaya, kaya nga may uh, persons involved sa communication ay may exchange of uh, messages na nangyayari between doon sa mga magkakausap. So, that's the interactive perspective ng communication. Ayan, then, if we are look into a uh, symbolic perspective naman, ayan, communication uses symbols to represent things, processes, ideas, or events. Ayan, so, these symbols are arbitrary constructions that represent a communicator's thought. Ayan, so, we cannot communicate din, syempre, without the symbols na natukoy dito. So, yung mga symbols na tinutukoy dito is yung mga nagamit natin letters, ano? Uh, so, from that, uh, from the letters ay that become words. And then, from the words, meron tayong nabubuong sentences na siyang ina-utter natin while we uh, communicate. Okay? And then, lastly, from a pragmatic perspective naman, so, pragmatic defines communication as any sign-mediated interaction that follows combinatorial, context-specific, and content-coherent rules. Okay, kasi kapag sinabi natin uh, pragmatic, we are looking into the practical considerations, ano ng isang bagay. Kaya as we uh, all know, if we are communicating na spoken or written man yan, we are following rules para makabuo ng isang idea ng sentences, ng paragraphs, and such. And now, dahil kung hindi natin sunusunod yung rules na yun, like for example, sentence construction, uh, grammar, and the way we, even the way we pronounce words, ano? so do you think uh, the receiver of the message will understand what we say kung hindi natin ina-apply yung mga rules na yun? Eh, ba? Ayun. So, uh, yes, those are the definitions of communication based on the different views and perspectives of communication itself. Alright? Ayan. So, how about communication skills naman? What is communication skills? Ayan. So, kanina ko pa siya uh, nab nababanggit. Ano? Kanina pa sa introduction introduction ko pala ang ano, na sabi ko ay dapat taglayin natin itong communication skills na, na ito no, as early as now. Kaya, ayan, let's know what the idea of communication skills is. Okay? So, here in this slide, ano, I have an illustration na ginawa. Ayan. So, here, imagine na uh, you are on uh, the one side of a wall ano? and the person you want to communicate with is on the other side of the wall pero there's more than the wall in the way ano? the wall is also surrounded by a moat ano? that is filled with crocodiles yan, tapos kunwari ay edge pa siya ng quicksand ano? may kumunoy pa ok, so let's try to connect this illustration sa communication Paano natin siya makakonect? Ayan. So, these barriers, the wall, unang-una, and then the moat, uh, filled with crocodiles, and also the quicksand, yung uh, kumunoy, could be the things, ano, like in different uh, cultures natin, mga individuals, ano. So, yan, kahit dito pa lang sa Pilipinas, di ba, may iba-ibang 
kultura na agad tayo. Diba? So, pwede maging reason yun kung bakit uh, there might be possibilities na hindi tayo magkaka- magkaintindihan while we communicate. Ano? So, yun yung mga barriers na yan. Ano? Tapos, uh, there are also different expectations. Siyempre, ang mga tao, ano? we have different uh, experiences, different perspectives, we have different beliefs. Ano, or even different communication styles ano, between uh, us, the one uh, sending the message and the one who receives the message ano, na siyang pwede maging dahilan kung bakit hindi nagiging successful yung communication so ayun, ano, may barriers parang itong uh, nasa illustration na rin na ito ano, may barriers na uh, na present dito sa dalawang taong to na gusto mag-connect ano so uh, ayun ganun natin siya na i-connect sa communication ayan so how about communication skills naman what is communication skills and so kanina ko pa siya uh, nab- nababanggit ano kanina pa sa introduction introduction ko pa lang ang ano, na sabi ko ay dapat taglayin natin itong communication skills na, na ito no? as early as now. Kaya, ayan, let's know what the idea of communication skills is. Okay? So, here, in this slide, ano, I have an illustration na ginawa. Ayan. So, here, imagine na uh, you are on uh, the one side of a wall ano? and the person you want to communicate with is on the other side of the wall pero there's more than the wall in the way ano? the wall is also surrounded by a moat ano? that is filled with crocodiles yan, tapos kumara edge pa siya ng quicksand ano? may kumunoy pa ok, so let's try to connect this illustration sa communication Paano natin siya makakonect? Ayan. So, these barriers, the wall, unang-una, and then the moat, uh, filled with crocodiles, and also the quicksand, yung uh, kumunoy, could be the things, ano, like in different uh, cultures nating mga individuals, ano. So, yan, kahit dito pa sa Pilipinas, di ba, may iba-ibang kultura na agad tayo. Diba? So, pwede maging reason yun kung bakit uh, there might be possibilities na hindi tayo magkaka- magkaintindihan while we communicate. Ano? So, yun yung mga barriers na yan. Ano? Tapos, uh, there are also different expectations. Siyempre, ang mga tao, ano? we have different uh, experiences, different perspectives, we have different beliefs. Ano, or even different communication styles ano, between uh, us, the one uh, sending the message, and the one who receives the message. Ano, na siyang pwede maging dahilan kung bakit hindi nagiging successful yung communication. So, ayun, ano, may barriers. Parang itong uh, nasa illustration na rin na ito. Ano, may barriers na uh, na present dito sa dalawang taong to na gusto mag-connect ano so uh, ayun ganun natin siya na i-connect sa communication all right yeah so here we go now so as we define communication and communication skills there isn't only one point in communication in which you have to uh, watch out for barriers no? Kasi to be successful at communicating, uh, it is very important na ma-recognize natin yung communication barriers. Ano? So, ayan, yung communication barriers na yan can occur at uh, multiple points in the communication process. Okay? Hindi lang siya sa unang... Uh, unang part ng communication nangyayari, hindi lang sa hulihan, anywhere in the communication process. Ano? So, we have to be mindful uh, on that. Okay? So, ayan. 
Nabanggit dito, communication process. So, ano po ba mga communication process? May communication process po ba na nanaganon? Ano? So, of course, guys, there's always a process at anything. Ano? So, here, as you can see, uh, the illustration in this slide, uh, it shows the linear process of communication. And uh, it's elements or components okay so this is from shannon and weaver's model of communication Ayan, so the process of communication starts with the sender as you can see and so the sender he or she encodes the message that will be sent ano? and the channel here Yan, nasa baba na message, it refers to the mode of communication. So, kung saan pinapadaan yung message. Alright? So, then after the message is delivered, there will be a uh, decoding ano, that will happen. And uh, that will be uh, done by the receiver in order for him or her to understand and comprehend the message uh, received. Okay, so then yung noise dito, ayan, it is the uh, barrier we are referring kanina, ano. So, the, yan yung um, obstacles of communication in uh, becoming successful. And, ayan, we also have feedback here sa pinakambaba, ano. So, yan, if the receiver receives the message, he or she will probably give his or her feedback, feedback to the sender okay so uh, it, yun yung ito yung pinakang brief explanation ano nitong communication process na nakikita ninyo sa illustration alright but in order for us to understand more and uh, follow the process of communication let, let us uh, tackle uh, one by one each of the element of the communication process so first, we have the sender. Ayan, so the sender is the origin of the message who encodes uh, feelings, ideas, thoughts, and also emotions ano, into uh, some form of message. Ayan, so uh, the process, the process uh, of communication actually begins with a specific uh, intention or purpose from the sender. And that's what we call the speaker's intention. Ano? And so, uh, since the source of message is the sender, yeah, the sender must know why the communication is necessary and what uh, result is needed. Now, what is the purpose of the communication? Is it to confess something? Uh, is it to persuade someone over something? Or ano ba? is it just to simply inform? No. So, in other words, there must be a reason ano, why the communication is happening. So, para mas uh, maging maayos yung delivery and uh, you being the sender, I, you know what to expect sa result ng communication. Alright? So, that's the uh, purpose of having the intention or the purpose itself ng, uh, uh, ng pakikipag-usap. Okay? And in order to be a good source, ayan, the message must be clear, dapat, ano, always. So, the sender must uh, first know exactly what it is that he or she wants to communicate. Ayan, sh he or she must know his or her reason in delivering the message and the result he or she expects. Ano? Kasi if the sender cannot answer these questions or cannot identify all of this, and then, uh, he or she will be starting the communication process with uh, a high chance of failure. No, kaya mahalaga na before magsimula ang communication, dapat ay alam muna ni sender yung lahat ng considerations na ito na nabanggit natin. Okay? Then, ayun nga, as I've said in the previous slide, ayan, encoding, which is uh, being performed by the sender, yeah, so encoding is the process naman of taking the message and transferring it into a format ano, so that can be uh, in a format that can be shared with 
the other party and with the receiver okay parang ano lang siya uh, it is sort of like um, how messages are sent via fax ayan familiar ba kayo sa fax kasi kapag uh, sa fax di ba just like that the information and the paper has to be encoded or uh, prepared before having it sent in a format that the other party has the ability to decode ano? or else the message will not be delivered kaya in order to be uh, in order to encode a message properly the sender have to think about what the other person will need ano? kung ano yung kailangan ng kausap niya para maintindihan niya or ma uh, decode niya yung message na like do the sender shares all the information that is necessary to get the uh, the full picture you know have the have the sender made assumptions that uh, may not be correct you know is he or she uh, uses best form of sending it para ma-ensure yung uh, best chance na ma-receive and ma-perceive yung message properly you no know? or ayun are the uh, cultural or environmental or language differences between the sender and the other party na maaari mag-cause ng uh, miscommunication meron bang ganun no kaya in or in other words uh, itong encoding it requires uh, knowing who the audience is kung sino yung uh, kausap no kasi first uh, and foremost first of all you need to have an understanding of what they know and what they need to know in order to send a complete message at para ay sorry at para ma-adjust mo rin yung delivery mo ng message mo okay like you'll adjust if you need to use a language which they will understand ano and the context that is familiar to them yan isang simple example na lang of how we can do such is ayun yung uh, being sure na na spell out natin yung acronyms kapag may kausap tayo na uh, unfamiliar sa acronym names you know like for example for a specific example kung may magtatanong man sa inyo na someone from other provinces or other cities you na know, kung saan ka nag-aaral you know, tapos ang isasagot mo ay MSC yan MSC eh, we sometimes forget that uh, not everyone is familiar with the acronyms that we use on a reg- regular basis. No, kaya we have to be careful and we have to be mindful na we have to use language that the receiver will understand and is uh, familiar. Okay? So, ayun. Isa pang consideration talaga yan. Okay? Ayan. And then next, we have the channel. Ayan. So, once the message is encoded, um, the encoded message are sent by, by a, a medium. Ano? The means of sending information. Okay? And that's what we call channel. No? So, kung saan dinadaan yung message or yung information towards the receiver. Okay? So, ayun. Ito ba si channel? If a message is uh, delivered orally, yung sound waves na nag-create when we utter the message, uh, na-carry na yung sender's voice. Ano? But if uh, messages are uh, technologically sent, especially to a large number of people, like kunwari ay newspaper, ano? na the message is carried through printed word. Okay? And if radio naman, the message is carried through sound or music and news ano so it is pag ano naman na it is called mass media ano pag yun ay technologically sent na for a large number of people okay so ayan ang common mass media na ginagamit natin which is prevalent nowadays ay yan radio television uh, books magazines newspapers movies uh, sound recording, cell phones, and computer networks, social medias, okay? So, other forms of communication media are kasama din dyan yung mga posters, billboards, 
even the traffic signs, ano, mga advertisements, visual arts, painting, and such. Okay, so those are uh, mass media, and it's a kind of channel. Okay? Uh, what else? Yeah, and so here, sa channel pa din, I'll give you a situational uh, example ng channel. Ano? For example, ayan, nag-uusap kunwari si J. Lawrence si Arian. Okay? So, sabi ni J. Lawrence, yan, Arian, where did you know about the class suspension uh, today? Yan, sabi ni Arian is, so, uh, J. Lawrence, I watched the uh, live news in YouTube this morning. Yan, so therefore, the channel that was used by Arian in uh, acquiring the information about the class suspension is the YouTube live news. Okay, so the channel again, guys, uh, yun yung method or the means that you use to convey the message. Okay, and syempre, uh, kapag ganon, the type of message you have uh, will help you to determine kung anong channel yung dapat and mas appropriate na gamitin. No? Like, you may apply face-to-face conversation, uh, telephone calls, or video conferences if you like to. No? Or you may also use written communication like uh, emails, memos, letters, etc. Okay? So, yung sa face-to-face communication or conversation, no doubt that uh, it scores highest no? in channel richness. Because uh, pag face-to-face naman talaga, it transmits the most information uh, per communication episode. So, yung multiple information cues, yung hindi lang words ang nare-receive na receiver, but nakikita niya rin yung, uh, yung actual posture, yung facial expressions, and yung gestures ni sender. Okay, so naririnig rin niya niya ng maayos yung uh, intonation, yung tone ni sender. Ano na nakaka-help yung mga yun para ma-send ni, ma- ni sender ng mas effective and uh, mas maayos yung message niya. Okay, so it affects uh, but kung titingnan din natin yung other side ng coin dito sa channel, uh, channel of course has its advantages and disadvantages. Now, like for example, uh, you find it difficult to uh, give complex technical information or instructions by using just a telephone, you know, or uh, you may get bad results if you try naman to give criticism. So, by e- via email, ayan, kunwari, uh, may pa-assignment ako sa inyo, tapos hindi ko siya uh, ma-explain or ma-expound through uh, messenger chat, ba? So, we have to conduct synchronous class pa para uh, ma-raise ninyo agad-agad yung concern ninyo about my instruction, my directions, ano, in what I am asking you to do sa assignments or tasks nyo, for example, ano? So, ayun, may disadvantage din ang channel. Kaya we have to be mindful kung ano yung uh, pinaka-appropriate na channel natin na dapat gamitin sa pag-pass uh, or sa pag-convey uh, ng message. Okay? So, that's uh, channel. And, yeah. Third element I we have message. Okay, so the message is, ayan, it is uh, simply the information that the sender wants to deliver. Okay? At uh, naka-indicate dito sa slide, the verbal and non-verbal messages are considered the substance. Now, the, again, the substance of any communication flow. Ayan, so, ba't kayo nasabing substance? Okay? Kasi, yung, uh, message yung naga establish ng connections ano or links among the uh, communicative interlocutors ano the persons involved in the commun- in the conversation yan the sender and the receiver ano kapag sinabi natin again na communicative interlocutors uh, yan yung 
mga persons na involved sa communication, yung sender, receiver, uh, speaker, audience, na So, ayun, without a message, there is no uh, cause for communicating. Ano, kung walang message, ba't pa makikipag-communicate? Diba? And, ayun, another thing, if the sender cannot summarize the information to be shared, Uh, masasabi natin na he or she is not yet ready to begin the process of communication. Why? Kasi, syempre, kailangan alam muna natin yung information or yung message na ipapas natin sa kausap natin, ano, para uh, maging successful ang communication at para maging effective communicator tayo. Kasi kung hindi buo yung idea sa sarili natin kung ano yung i- uh, i-impart natin sa ating kausap, ay baka mag- makapagdala lang tayo or makapagbigay lang tayo ng confusion or misinterpretation sa kanila, ano, sa mga uh, sasabihin natin. Okay, so you have to be uh, knowledgeable muna, ano, doon sa uh, sasabihin mo. Alright? Ayan, so, decoding ang uh, pinakakatapat ng encoding. Ano? So, decoding happens when uh, you receive the message that has been sent. Ano? So, just like what I've been pointing out earlier, while I am introducing communication to you, the communication skills required to decode a message successfully uh, Uh, include the ability to read and comprehend, listen ac- actively, or ask clarifying questions when needed. Ayan. So, to make it simple, decoding, guys, is the process of uh, receiving the message accurately and uh, requires that the audience or the receiver has the means to understand the information being shared. Okay? And syempre, Uh, the receiver is the one who performs decoding. Alright? So, the receiver hears or listens to whatever kind of message is delivered by the sender. Alright? So, his or her decoding process to interpret a message depends on various factors like uh, physical, psychological, physiological, mental even contextual and cultural factors. Ano? That is because uh, tying individuals, we are all unique. Ano? We have uh, inherited certain characteristics so we could uh, decode message. Ano? And we also even developed other uh, capability rin as a result of our uh, family, friends, and ayun, sa pag-aaral natin, ano na, nade-develop natin yung ating kakayahan. Alright? Uh, and, ayun, another thing, as we all know naman, ano, na receivers are expected to give response once they receive a message, di ba? And, uh, this is most possible when the sender uh, addresses specific concerns or specific benefits as part of the communication. Like, kung may Uh, itatanong or i-consult and such na, na kailangan talaga ng sagot or feedback from the receiver. So, when the sender have uh, thought out his or her message, the sender have certainly also uh, thought about his or her desired result to be on the part of the listener. And, uh, but guys, take note that uh, it is important to realize that every receiver of a message will be Uh, listening to it through their own individual expectations, uh, opinions, and perspectives. Ano? Their individual experiences will uh, influence how the message is received. Kaya the sender of the message do not have a control on what will be the response. Ano? And kung magre-respond nga ba si receiver. Okay? And speaking of which, ayan, ang fifth nating element is ang feedback. And so, no no matter what channel why was used to convey a message, feedback can be a help for us to determine how successful the communication was. 
right? So if the sender had a face-to-face -face communication with the audience, so he or she can read the body language of his uh, his or her co-op and, uh, and ask questions to ensure understanding. Okay, so thus if the communication was delivered via writing naman, ayan, the sender of the message can uh, gauge the success of the communication by the uh, received response and by seeing if the expected result is delivered. And uh, ayan, not, not just that, because of uh, feedback, then I uh, feedback also offers a chance na para ma adjust ni sender yung kanyang communication process for the future. Na like for example, kung may uh, pagkakamali mang nasabi na una si uh, si sender, then the receiver may react ano and gi and give a uh, feedback. No, then by that, the sender may adjust or pwede niyang itama yung error na nasabi niya noong una. Ano? So, the sender can elaborate or explain his or her side. Ano? Mga gan So, na-adjust pa ni sender uh, yung kanyang communication, yung kanyang pakikipag-communicate uh, through uh, receiving feedback from the receiver. Okay? Kaya, Ayun, in any case, feedback talaga is uh, very important and uh, invaluable siya for helping the sender to improve his or her communication skills. Now, the sender can learn what uh, worked well and what did not now, so that communication will be even more efficient the next time around. Okay, so ayan, then... Lastly, one of the elements of communication also is the noise. Ayan, nabanggit din natin twice na ano sa, sa unang uh, topic, sa unang part pa lang. Ayan, so yun yung kanina pa natin na pag usapan na barrier, yung communication barriers. You know? So, ayan, let's delve into the noise. Ayan, so again, in communication process, uh, anything that blocks for the communication to be successful is what we call noise. Okay? So, yun yung uh, naga interfere with the communication process between the speaker and the audience or the receiver. No, kaya it is called interference na rin. Okay? Ayan, so, well, uh, it is a great factor you know, to reduce the chances of uh, successful communication, but it does not guarantee naman agad yung failure. No, pwede namang ma-overcome yung noise or barrier na yun. Ano, kasi sabi nga natin kanina, dapat ay uh, uh, before natin ma-apply yung strategy or communication skill nat skills natin, we have to identify first kung ano muna yung uh, present or yung existing noise or barriers sa isang communication. No? So, ayun, para alam natin yung dapat gawin para ma-overcome at ma-solutionan, ay, ayun, let's know what are the kinds of communication noise. Ano? So, here, let's enumerate them. Ayan, noise can be physical. Alright? So, ayan, this uh, noise, ang physical noise, ay it pertains to to the distractions ano, caused by, let's say, uh, hunger, fatigue, headaches, uh, medications, and ayun, yung other factors that affect how we feel and think. Ano, this may occur when biological or other physical issues interfere with our ability to communicate. Alright, so let's say for instance, when you talk to a person who suffers from uh, from uh, toothache or any illnesses, ano? so the receiver of the message cannot uh, basically focus in the conversation because the level of pain na nararamdaman ni receiver may uh, prevail him or her from communicating. Yan. For example, uh, magkatanong sa'yo, uh, 
Ayan, si J. Lawrence got a kay Arian. So, have you heard uh, the news about the uh, the classes we are to conduct tomorrow? Ayan, mas ang asagot ni Arian ay, Aray, ouch, my stomach aches. Ayan, so, instead of answering J. Lawrence's question, uh, Arian uttered what she feels. So, now, indirectly saying that, I cannot talk about what you are asking because my stomach aches. Ano? Or do not talk to me for now. My stomach aches so bad. Okay, so that's uh, uh, the, uh, the example of physical noise. So that's the concept of physical noise. Alright, and then some mental noise naman. Yan. So that's this noise talks about the uh, yung activeness ano, of one's mentality during a conversation. Ayan, for example, uh, ayan, kung nga, tanong rin ulit si Jay Lawrence, and have you heard about the news uh, about the classes we are to conduct tomorrow? Ayan, tapos si, si Arian ay wala, nakatungang alang siya. Nakatingin sa kawalan. Tapos sabi ni Jay Lawrence, Hey, Arian! Hey, Arian! Tapos si Arian may, oh, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Nabigla siya, ano, kinakausap daw pala siya ni, ni J. Lawrence. And so, ayun, uh, wala sa, wala sa kamalayan si, si Arian na siya pala ikinakausap ni, ni Carlo. So, are you aware of those persons who are physically present but mentally absent? And so, ayun, they are, uh, daydreaming maybe kaya wala siya dun sa present situation na yun so yun yung isa sa example nitong mental noise ano? uh, another example ng mental noise ay yung tinatawag natin mental block ano? yung inability yung, yung inability to recall uh, some specific thing or perform some uh, mental action Okay, so yun, that's the uh, idea of mental noise. Alright, and then next one ay yung auditory. Ayan, so this type of noise naman ay it, it pertains to the interferences in our environment that uh, nag-relate siya to our sense of hearing. Ano? So since auditory ay sa sense of hearing siya. Ayan, for example, uh, yeah, when you and your friend are uh, standing and talking to each other near the the national road ano, or the highway, yeah, you tend to uh, hear the vehicles honking their horn, ano, then the message spoken by your friend, ano, mas malakas pa yung ingay ng sasakyan kaysa dun sa boses ng kausap mo. No? So, that's the an, uh, auditory noise. Literal na ingay talaga yung uh, literal na noise talaga itong auditory noise na to. No? So, ano, ano ba ba ang other example? Yeah, so, there are uh, students outside of the classroom that are uh, shouting while you are, uh, let's say, for example, nag-report ka ano, ng iyong topic. Ano? So, your classmates did not respond as you asked them a question because uh, the literal noise coming from the outside is too loud. No? So, such instances show uh, how auditory noise affect the clear delivery of the message. Ayan. So, auditory ay the, uh, the actual or the literal noise ano, from the uh, surroundings, from the environment. Okay? And then lastly, ito na, the psychological noise. Ano? So, this noise the it refers to the uh, sa qualities uh, in us that uh, affect how we communicate and interpret others. Na? So, for uh, for instance, if you are uh, preoccupied with a problem, yeah, you may be inattentive at a group at a group meeting. Yeah, kung uh, nagkakaroon kayo ng group activity, yeah, tapos ikaw ay uh, parang wala kang gana na maki-join sa sa uh, small group discussion ano hindi ka nakikipartisipate sa sa communication na nagaganap within the group no kasi uh, you have this quality na 
uh, na may uh, gumugulo sa utak mo, ganun, ano? So, likewise, uh, prejudice and defensive feelings can interfere with communication. Yan, so, another example pa dito is the feeling of uh, kunwari ay depressed ka or you have you have anxiety, you are stressed. No, so, that's the examples naman of psychological noise in communication. Alright? So, I hope those are um, clear on your end. And also, these are considered barriers that can affect an individual's communicative uh, interaction. Okay? So, ayun, yun yung anim na elements or components na meron tayo sa communication process. And I hope ay, yun ay malinaw sa inyong lahat. Okay? Alright, so moving on, in order for us to delve deeper into the uh, concept of communication, let us discuss naman these uh, principles of communication. Okay? Yeah, so understanding that the principles of communication have not been uh, ganon na conveniently pre-packaged uh, by academic journals, here, I have gathered seven principles of communication na consider natin for the success rate of uh, striking mutual understanding and communication. Okay, so, dapat itong mga to ay present ano, uh, para makaperform tayo ng, eh, ng uh, maganda or good communication. Okay? Ayan, so, first principle we have effective. And of course, uh, every communication should have a clear purpose. Ano? And syempre, that purpose should be achieved all throughout the communication para um, masabing effective yung communication. Right? So, yeah, this includes uh, what, is, what is said, how it is uh, delivered, when it is sent or published, and why people should take notice. No? And then, uh, what do we still need ba to make the communication effective? Ayan, syempre, you need to communicate your message in the, in the fewest possible words. You know? So, you should have the consistency of tone, uh, voice, and content para you can save time. You know? And for some communicators, yung... Uh, short and punchy statements are often more effective than those uh, lengthy na statements. Ano you know, mas gusto nila yung uh, maikli and yung a uh, few words lang in a sentence kasi yung napakarami pa and pasikot-sikot pa. Ano? Okay. And then pag uh, written communication naman, uh, diagrams ano, and images, the graphic uh, all the graphics, uh, visual arts, ano, uh, nakaka- mayroon siyang impact uh, doon sa clarity ng message na nadadala. Alright? So, yung visual desi design should uh, provide a uh, good quality para ma-support yung message and uh, to make it easy for the people, sa mga readers, to engage ano, and uh, pick out the important elements ng no, message. Okay? So, it's because <clears throat> each message must have a logical conclusion ano, and a call to action. Hindi lang siya basta-basta pagbibigay or pagsasend ng message. Alright? In order to be effective, you, as the communicator, must put some effort ano, para maintindihan ng maayos ng uh, receiver yung message. Okay? Effectively. Okay? And then, ayan, second, comprehensive. Yes, another another uh, important principle ito, no? Uh, so, your uh, kausap or the reader or the receiver of the message uh, shouldn't be left wondering if there is more to come, ano? Like, uh, the information communicated should be adequate and complete, no? Where possible, uh, it should uh, fully address the purpose and provide enough that the recipients can take the required action without 
a delay, confusion, or a, a reduction in productivity and or motivation. Ano? Pero there, uh, we know naman that there are instances na uh, communication cannot be completed talaga in a single message. Diba? Like, uh, for instance, yun, naga, uh, kunwari ay uh, kausap mo ang isang mong teacher ngayon ano, about sa concern mo sa isang bagay and then may isang aspect doon na parang uncertain or hindi sure si teacher mo sa ibibigay na information sa iyo so sabi niya is ini make sure niya muna yung info and your teacher will provide you with the information the day after na okay so pag ganon uh, it should uh, clearly indicate that there is more to follow ano with requisite when and how like uh, dapat ma- ma- mabanggit mo rin mabanggit rin ni Sander na may ipoprovide pa tayong links to supporting material kung hindi man natin ma-provide ng buo or ng complete or ng adequate yung uh, information na i- uh, ipapas natin sa kausap natin okay and then third we have the clarity and given na rin naman to na, so the purpose of uh, messages should be clear you know worded in such a way na the receiver understand the say the same message which the sender wants to convey no kasi again guys communications shouldn't leave your uh your kausap confused hindi dapat uh, confusion hindi dapat misinterpretation mabigay mo sa kanya but clarity okay so you have to be clear of uh, what format uh, do you want to say it in? Ano? Be clear about your goal or your purpose. And as what I've been reiterating kanina, kanina pa, no, it is also essential that the receiver is uh, conversant with the language. Ano? And even the inherent assumptions and the mechanics of uh, communication. Ano? So typically, uh, sentences should be short, uh, and it should be in the active voice, you know, para madaling maintindihan at para hindi complex yung sentences na uh, sasabihin mo or ipapas mo sa iyong kausap. Okay? And ayan, fourth, we have the attention and style. Ayan. So, guys, in a uh, good communication, the receiver's attention is drawn to the message. You know? So, pag ang takbo ng communication ay maganda, uh, masasabi natin na focused si receiver sa message alright, but uh, since people are different in behavior uh, different in attention, emotions and etc and they may respond differently to the message okay, kaya one quality ng sender ay dapat uh, skillful siya to constructing different message formats for different roles and uh, grades. Okay? Tulad na lang uh, ng, sa formal communication. Ano? It is generally used for uh, transmitting messages and other information. No? Like for instance, uh, yung pagpapresent ng uh, isang research study in front of an audience ano, reporting to a boss or a supervisor okay, so ganun yung uh, formal communication however, uh, sometimes naman, informal communication may prove more effective kesa sa formal communication ano? kasi kung titignan natin uh, informal communication can be uh, helpful for assessing the reaction of people towards va- various policies. Kasi, since may freedom sa informal communication, eh, mas uh, free yung takbo ng usapan between people. Hindi nalilimitahan. Ano? But, ayun, nonetheless, both types should uh, embrace the concept of uh, attention and style ano, in communicating. Alright? And then fifth, we have the coherency. Yes, of course. Yun. So, ito yung uh, smooth flow of ideas doon sa uh, pag-i-impart or pag-send message. 
Okay? So, here, as a coherency, it is uh, important that communication remains logical, well-planned, and yung uh, self-reinforcing across this. No? So, there should be a uh, connection with the main with the main topic. Hindi dapat nonsense yung sinasabi. Hindi dapat uh, malayo doon sa usapan. And so, dapat ay may connection ang idea sa isa't isa. And that's coherency. Alright? And then, sixth, we have the timeliness and urgency. Okay. So, isa pa to, no? Uh, timeliness and urgency. Uh, so, uh, communication should be done at a proper time and with the appropriate level of impact and urgency so para ma-ensure na yung mga messages can be understood and acted upon to to achieve the purpose no kasi kung hindi time din yung topic at kung hindi urgent yung communication eh why communicate diba lalo kung sa isang workplace Sa, lalo kung sa isang workplace yan, sa isang trabaho, no? So, the time sa isang workplace ay napaka-precious, no? Kasi bayad ang oras sa isang trabaho. Kaya, uh, it should be spent wisely and efficiently. Kaya, it should be possible for us to uh, differentiate urgent and important information. So, dapat alam natin yung pagkakaiba ng urgent information sa important information no? and uh, para we understand the time scale for any actions no? okay and then lastly we have the importance of feedback Ayan. so kanina rin natin nabanggit yan ano? so feedback guys is uh, again very important uh, to confirm that communication has been effective ano? and to Resolve questions, allow challenge, clarify actions, etc. Okay? So, at the side, said nga kanina, by feedback, eh, na-assess natin kung successful ba yung communication na naganap. Okay? So, again, feedback is important. Alright? So, <clears throat> these are the principles of communication. And when we say principles, guys, yun yung propositions, ano, na nagsuserve siya as the foundation ng communication or ng sistema ng communication. Kaya all of this, all of this seven, dapat ay uh, present yan sa communication na gagawin natin uh, every time. Okay? And in connection to that, ayan, speaking of which, ayan, we also have communication ethics na tinatawag. Now, so, this is the other aspect pa uh, ng communication na kailangan nating alamin, pag-aralan, and of course, taglayin ano, para ma-apply natin when we communicate. Okay? So, yan guys, what is communication ethics ba? Ano po ba ang communication ethics mo? Okay. Ayan, so unahin pa lang muna natin yung word na ethics. Okay, so what is ethics pa? Ayan, let me search it sa isang reliable source. Ayan, so sabi sa Mariam Webster Dictionary, ayan, ethics refers to the principles of conduct uh, governing an individual or a group. Professional ethics, a guiding philosophy, a consciousness of moral importance. Okay. And sabi naman sa ethical theory from moral issues that divide us by uh, Fiesser of 2017. Yan, ethics deals with values relating to human conduct with respect to the rightness and wrongness of certain actions and to the goodness and badness of the motives and ends of such actions. Ayan. So, uh, ito yung mga definitions ng ethics based sa uh, mga reliable sources. Okay, so, from that, how do you define, uh, how can we define communication ethics based on 
these definitions kaya. All right. <clears throat> so uh, as what I've been reiterating in our topic, ano, communication, um, effective communication is necessary in all <clears throat> in all human relationships. Ano? And while there are many different types of communication principles that we need to know about to be successful in communication, well, guys, ethical communication is what we even more needed and uh, is the most important. Ano? And in connection to that, ayan, speaking of which, ayan, we also have communication ethics. No, so, this is the other aspect pa uh, ng communication na kailangan nating alamin pag-aralan and of course taglayin ano para ma-apply natin when we communicate okay so yan guys what is communication ethics ba ano po ba ang communication ethics mo okay ayan so unahin pala muna natin yung word na ethics okay so what is ethics pa ayan let me search it sa isang reliable source Yeah, so, sabi sa Mariam, Webster Dictionary, ayan, ethics refers to the principles of conduct uh, governing an individual or a group. Professional ethics, a guiding philosophy, a consciousness of moral importance. Okay. And sabi naman sa ethical theory from moral issues that divide us by uh, Fiesser of 2017. Yeah, ethics deals with values relating to human conduct with respect to the rightness and wrongness of certain actions and to the goodness and badness of the motives and ends of such actions. Ayan. So, uh, ito yung mga definitions ng ethics based sa uh, mga reliable sources. Okay, so from that, how do you define, uh, how can we define communication ethics based on uh, these definitions? Kaya? All right. <clears throat> so, uh, as what I've been reiterating in our topic, ano, communication, um, effective communication is necessary in all <clears throat> in all human relationships ano? and while there are many different types of communication principles that we need to know about to be successful in communication well guys ethical communication is what we even more needed and uh, is the most important ano? and okay, it's uh, important for everyone of us to know and understand the fundamental the fundamental principles on ethical communication. So hindi lang basta yung principles ng communication na na natakal na natin before this, but also ng ethical communication. All right? So here the following are the ethical factors uh, significant in the discuss in the discussion of communication ethics. Yeah, so first we have the building an information network. Yeah, so one of the goals of communication is to establish an uh, an array of communication networks where there is an open access to various information uh, shared by all participants within a communicative entity. So hindi lang face to face nangyayari tong building information network, no? So, super uh, prevalent yan sa, sa social media pa lang, sa social media world. Ayan, sa FB pa lang, di ba? So, sobrang bilis makabuild ng information network sa, sa social media. Ayan, and speaking of which, ano, however, not all information should be uh, shared or uh, dise disseminate, especially if it is uh, fake, or of high confidentiality na, na hindi porket nalaman mo kung ano yung hindi alam ng iba about something eh you share mo siya agad no so you have to be careful sa kung ano yung ipapas mo 
or isasend mo na info to others. Now, you have to examine first kung fact ba yung yung isasend mong information or message or uh, baka fake yun, di ba? And if uh, confidential naman, then uh, don't disseminate the info. Kasi confidential nga, ano, mas lalo, lalo yung high confidentiality, na no? So, super laganap na ngayon sa uh, sa social media, no? And even kahit sa, uh, na, sa face-to-face din, ano, yan, sa social media, nako. Yan, yung mga influencers pa, no? Sila pa yung uh, nagsisimula mag-disseminate ng info na fake or even yung uh, high confidentiality ng mga information. Kasi yun, nagiging, nagiging root siya ng issue sa social media. Nagiging issue na siya ng bayan. Ano? Eh, that is so wrong. That's very wrong. Kasi, uh, credibility and yung trustworthiness are built which makes a spe- the, the a speaker communicatively ethical and do you think yung sa mga ginagawa ng mga influencers ngayon na usapin sa social media do you think uh, it is ethical ethical kaya yung ginagawa nila no yeah so kayo na sumagot <laughs> Ano? And then, yan, second, engaging and participating. Yan, so, kapag you are in a communicative situation, kapag nakikipag-usap ka, it is uh, your responsibility to be actively involved doon sa various discussions. Ano? You have to employ your critical listening para uh, ma-receive mo ng maayos yung message. Ah... Uh, And, of course, you have to speak out what is in your mind para magkaroon ka ng uh, uh, communication, para magkaroon ng communication at para may participation ka doon sa communication. Ano, hindi lang basta listener, hindi ka lang basta receiver. Okay? So, yun ay uh, to avoid monopoly ano, of talking and uh, para mag-give way to a number of Uh, choices, possibilities, and alternatives. Okay, it's uh, for your sake then. Ano, pa, na mag, uh, in engaging and participating sa communication. Okay? And then third, we have speaking with the heart. Ayan. So guys, uh, relationship is one of the keys ano, to effective communication. Okay, to establish uh, it, one must build a sense of sincerity ano, and commitment every time he or she talks to someone. Okay? So, how will you do that? Ano, edi, uh, you have to cho- choose the right word ano, that may not um, offend or uh, humiliate a person. So, yeah, being responsible, guys, and careful with what is being said is Uh, it is ethically moral. Okay, so you have to be careful and responsible. Alright? And then, for it, we have condemning discrimination. Ayan. So, ayan guys, avoid any kind of communication that leads to uh, dist- distortion, intolerance, intimidation, stereotyping, uh, hatred, Uh, violence, and also avoid uh, communication, that kind of communication, but instead, uh, commit to the communication that promotes uh, personal conviction by being uh, fair and just, ano? okay, and, uh, and last one, we have respecting and understanding each other, and another uh, important principle of communication ethics and uh, so guys before judging and evaluating a view of a or a uh, or a perspective ayan you have to learn first to strive to respect ano and understand the content of what is said ano bago ka bago mo i-judge or bago, bago mo i-evaluate dapat uh, i- Uh, alam niyo muna, i-understand mo muna, dapat ay yung kailalim-alaliman ay alam mo muna bago ka magsalita. Okay? And of course, respect 
na yun number one na kailangan natin sa lahat ng bagay respect na so this opens a uh, uh, um, diversity of uh, perspective and uh, tolerance which is fundamental sa human interaction okay so those uh, these are the five ethical considerations in communication yeah we have to uh, keep this all in mind and uh, para ma-apply natin syempre no, sa ating pakikipag-communicate uh, anytime, anywhere because again guys, communication ethics serves as uh, guiding principles of moral and ethical foundation of communication we need it and it is a must ano, para misinterpretation, miscommunication and yung chaos in communication can be prevent whenever we talk with someone okay so ito yun yung kahalagahan ng communication ethics